The People's Square in Zadar was formed in the Middle Ages as the Plata Magna, or Large Square, as the center of secular life in Zadar and the center of the city's administration. The most famous street in Zadar is definitely Cale Larga. Cale Larga is a special space and one of the symbols of the city, which evokes memories of beautiful moments and events as a place for socializing, fun and leisure, processions and folk festivities, and even first love. The Church of St. Donat is a recognizable symbol of the city of Zadar. It was built in the 9th century by Bishop Donat, after whom it was named. The church was built on the remains of the Roman Forum, and many remains from the Roman era were found in the walls and incorporated into the church. The sea organ is unique in the world. You must visit it and enjoy the sounds it produces thanks to waves and tides. At the very top of the waterfront, there is another fantastic attraction, the Greeting to the Sun. It is a plateau in the shape of a circle, which is made of 300 multi-layered glass panels. The panels contain solar collectors. During the day, the collectors soak up the sun and start a unique light show after sunset. And indeed, as the famous director Alfred Hitchcock once said, with the sounds of the sea organ and a view of the playful colors of the greeting to the sun, we are convinced that Zadar has the most beautiful sunset in the world. Nin is a small town 15 kilometers northwest of Zadar, the historical center of which is a small island with a diameter of 500 meters on which the old town is located. The island is connected to the mainland by two bridges. Grguninsky was the main proponent of the Old Slavonic language and the Glagolitic folk script and Glagolitic liturgy. In the 10th century, he was the bishop of Nin and the head of the entire Croatian church, Church of the Holy Cross, called the smallest cathedral in the world. It was built in the 9th century and is the only sacral building in Nin that has remained intact since its construction until today. Thanks to the position of the windows and the angle of the light, the church is a kind of calendar, because the exact date of the equinox and solstice can be determined by the angle of the light. According to legend, the wife of the first Croatian king, Tomislav, was enchanted by the beauty of the sandy beach and spent every free moment here enjoying herself with her family. Because of that legend, this beach got its current name, Queen's Beach, Atsi Marina Jut, with 120 moorings for boats, so this place is only available to those who come on vacation by boat. The Atsi Marina Jut is located in the westernmost part of the bay of the port of Jut, in the northwestern part of the Korneti Archipelago. Ij is an island in the Zadar Archipelago between Dugi Otok and Ugljan, and it is 14 nautical miles from Zadar. Its beauty is known only to a small number of adventurers and sailors, lovers of pure, untouched nature, those who want to escape to the end of the world and enjoy solitude. The island of Olib is best known among sailors for its many sandy bays that provide fantastic opportunities for swimming and safe anchoring. It's necessary to pay attention to the depth gauge because in some places the sea is very shallow. Olib is also the largest settlement on the island and it has a safe harbor with berths and moorings. Silba, an island of only 15 square kilometers, the northernmost island of the Zadar archipelago is also called the Gate to Dalmatia. In the 17th century, seafaring began to flourish here, and Silbinians were widely known as good and experienced captains. The island of Silba is also called the Island of Pedestrians because there are no cars on it so it is completely safe for children and pets who can roam the island carefree. 
The most frequently mentioned landmark on Silva is Toretta. It is a hexagonal tower with an external spiral staircase. It's located in the center of the village, near the local post office, and is 15 meters high. According to legend, the tower was erected in the 19th century by Captain Petar Marinic as a memory of unrepentant love. The island of Premuda, with the settlement of the same name, is part of the western islands of the Zadar archipelago, covered with shrubs and low forest. It is a particular favorite destination for boaters and sport fishermen. There is an anchorage in Kriel Bay. The settlement is located in the center of the island at an elevation of 90 meters. On the whole island, you will find two restaurants, two shops, a clinic, a post office, and a church. So this is an ideal place for those who want to escape from civilization and busy life for a while. The island of Molat. It is separated from the nearby island of East by a 155 meter wide channel, only six meters deep. The length of the island is about 11 kilometers and the width is four and a half kilometers. Molat is an island overgrown with brush and pine forest, a real destination for individualists and those who like hiking with the scent of Mediterranean herbs. One of the most famous builders who participated in the construction of the new town is Juraj Dalmatinets. The Middle Ages were marked by the production and trade of salt, for which Pag is still famous today. The Republic of Venice kept three quarters for itself, while the owners of the salt works got to keep a quarter of the salt produced. Everything was measured and even paid for with salt. Civil servants were paid with a certain amount of salt. Given that it was not practical to carry around large quantities of salt, judges in Pag received printed receipts, assignate. This is how the first paper money was introduced in these parts in the 18th century. In the city of Pag itself, there is a museum located in the former salt warehouses dedicated to this interesting product. Here you can see the tools and devices used in the past to extract and transport salt. Seeing all this and how much effort it takes to get salt from the sea to the salt shakers on our tables, we will never take salt for granted again. In the central town square is the Duke's Palace and on its ground floor, the Gallery of Pog Lace. Lace making is a centuries old tradition in Pog and dates back to the 15th century. It is believed that its roots come from the ancient Greek city of Mycenae. The sea is very warm and extremely salty, which makes it interesting. It has a beautiful blue-green color and is extremely clean, as evidenced by the blue flag. Certainly the most famous product of the island of Pag is the widely known Pag cheese, which wins gold medals and awards all over the world. The island of Pag is specific in that it has very little grass, which is very salty due to the salt and brine blown by storms. The sheep that graze on this grass and aromatic herbs like immortella, sage and holly produce a specific type of milk. It is for this reason that lamb from Pag is among the most valued delicacies. We have arrived on the island of Pag and we're visiting one of the more interesting Atsi marinas in Shimuni. The marina is located in a long bay that provides excellent shelter and is very safe for ships despite strong winter storms, which are much milder on this side of Pag. The marina has 191 berths in the sea and 45 berths on land. It can accommodate vessels of up to a maximum length of 18 meters, so that after a full day of sailing and swimming, they can dock at the marina in the evening and a van will take them to Zirce. They can party all night and when they've had enough, the van will bring them back to the marina.